Hello friends, Alexis here. I wanted to um, respond to a lot of responses to what happens uh, when videos are uploaded and meetings happen during the, the exploration of something that is totally unknowable. The unknowable no thing that is non-duality so non-duality is not a thing um, all things are objects they are th things is dualistic right a thing can only exist apparently in relation to a subject that's knowing it and that includes beliefs ideas concepts words um, but I don't know if I said beliefs, opinions, those, you know, all of those things are things. They are things. And non-duality is not a thing. Uh, the appearance of a thing is non-duality appearing as duality. It's, you could say almost, it's wholeness appearing as two-ness. But that is a dream. That's a complete illusion. It's not really happening. So when people come along with their, their own ideas, beliefs, opinions and views and whatever else, that's okay, that's fine, but it's not non-duality necessarily. And even these words that I'm saying is not really non-duality. But it is non-duality, appearing as duality, we could say, at least provisionally. So that, you know, all of these you know, beliefs and things that are appearing to an apparent subject is the dream of, of me or selfhood. And what often happens is when that person is in that apparent dream, they're projecting that experience onto everything else. And so when it hears a message like this, it assumes that what's being said here is a belief, that it's an opinion, an idea, and it just simply isn't that. It very much sounds and seems like it, but it just isn't. And we're using words as best we can to attempt to elaborate on something that is, once again, totally unknowable. It's beyond the reach of a, of a me, of, a, of an I that's trying to hold it. I cannot know non-duality. All I can know is something that I relate to, and this is beyond that. That appears within the whole. So there's nothing wrong or right with that. But this message is just simply beyond the reach, beyond the grips. And even if it was believed in, that wouldn't really be the same thing. So believing in non-duality is not really experiencing it. And in a way, non-duality is not really an experience. Um, so there's some attempts to elaborate on what's being shared from this space. That all might sound very conceptual and abstract, but basically what's essentially being um, pointed to at, at most, at best, is not two-ness, not two. Two is a dream, it's an illusion, that's all. It's very simple. And, uh, you know, a me tries to understand that, tries to conceptualize it, but it is really beyond that, it's beyond knowing, it's beyond knowing. So it's totally beyond the reach of the separate self, of the ego, of the mind, of the me, of anything. But it is already, it's already this. It really is just this. There's no need to read books, there's no need to do, you know, extreme sadhanas or sit in a cave or renounce all possessions. If that happens, then that's lovely, that's wonderful, it's fine. Nothing wrong or right with any of that. But this is already what it is. So there's no need for anything to happen for this to be what it is. It just simply is already not to. And this message can make that abundantly clear and obvious for some apparent bodies uh, and, and for other bodies. There's just that contraction is just simply too contracted and, and tense and, and tight and perhaps even stubborn to be provocative. It's, you know, that contraction is quite stubborn, it will not allow this message because that contraction, all it wants is something it can know and understand and get a hold of and relate to, and this is just simply not that. So it can be very frustrating 
when a me hears this. You know, it's to, I, I get it. It's, this is a very frustrating message because it just continuously slips through the fingers of the separate self. But when, when there's a sort of readiness and a resonance, it can really seem to just totally relax and dissolve that, that illusion that's not really there, it's not really happening. All there is is this, just this, abundantly free and boundless. Abundance. Much love.